Sophie Grégoire Trudeau, the lovely, the talented, the pregnant. Yes, <laughs> Sophie. six and a half months. Congratulations Thank to you, you and Justin. We're, we have so much to talk about and we don't have that much time, but you are in town because you're living in Ottawa. You're in town to promote a fabulous fundraiser dealing specifically with eating disorders. Yes. So we'll talk about the fundraiser, but I want to know first and foremost, why is this, of all the causes, the one that is so near and dear to your heart? Well, for the past 10 to almost 15 years, I've been uh, supporting any kind of a cause that is related to women's health mm -hmm. and eating disorders are rampant and the numbers are scary. The numbers are, are frightening. Yes. We're talking about 30,000 at least. Uh, no, no, 300. 300. I missed a zero. Quebecers are susceptible of, of suffering from an eating disorder. Yeah. 65,000 young girls in Quebec from alone. 12 to 30 alone mm -hmm. will suffer from uh, suffer from from anorexia and bulimia. I suffered from bul bulimia when I was uh, a teenager, so I know First what kind 10. of suffering that these people are going through. And um, you know, there's still a stigma around it. People think, oh, it's a vanity thing. Stop obsessing with your with your body you think image. It's like a choice and, that, that, that that people get up in the morning. It's and they, a mental illness. Yes, yeah, it is. So your addiction center is triggered. Uh, it's it's a, a vicious uh, cycle that gets created. So you it's you, you can't just get out of this disease and say what. Am I doing to myself? Mm -hmm. So uh, what we're doing is we're celebrating in one event the shift in consciousness. I think that if people had talked about it so much when I was suffering from it, I think it would have it would have helped. There's yeah. there's less stigma, but there still is. So we still have to obviously inform people because I don't know many people who don't know of one person who went through this. I, my life has been full of people who have been struggling with this. I mean, everyone knows that one person, especially who's really struggled with this. And so this is going to be a big event. And uh, you are very busy. You're, you're you're getting ready for your next child, your new child. You're living in Ottawa with uh, Justin Trudeau. Uh, first of all, let's talk about that. How is the adjustment? How is it living in Ottawa? Well, I changed my ecosystem, transferred the ecosystem from Montreal to Ottawa. And at first I was like, mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. And you know what? Surprisingly, I, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. It's very calm. I'm near the forest. I'm near the river. The kids are happy. We feel free. So yeah, free I Free in what I way? Less people bothering you? Or? Well, no, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's, it's calm. Mm -hmm. It's calming. And it's what I'm looking for right now in my life with the craziness and the chaos all around it. So uh, it's, no, I, I, it, it feels like a home mm -hmm. and I'm happy. Let's talk about some of that craziness. Obviously your, your husband is uh, Justin Trudeau and uh, you guys are known to be a very strong, tight unit, a strong family. Uh, you know, uh, when you watch some of the smear campaigns that had come on the air at some point against, uh, against your husband, very personal campaigns. As someone who's been in the media, you've, you have a successful mm. career, how do you react to that? Do you react as a wife first or as a, a, per, a, a media person first? Oh no, I always react as the human being that I am first. Um, and all of that goes together. I don't make much difference, you know, in the public persona that I am or in the private. For me, it's the same thing. If you, if you take a role, then there is a lack of authenticity. So I just try to stay the same and adapt in every single situation. So obviously, when, when somebody criticizes my husband, the normal reaction is, is to say, well, they're wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Because I know him. The lioness comes out. Yeah. Right, exactly. Maman Lyon, yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, I know better, and I've learned through time. And you know what? I don't read critics. I mm -hmm. really don't. That's one thing I've Smart. learned that has helped me so much. You know, I'm not letting you get out of this seat without asking if you are. How are you getting ready for your uh, potential new role? Listen, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be a great mom number three. That's, uh, and what about the other potential <laughs> what, what What are the what are the roles? Are you getting ready for potentially <laughs> being the prime minister's so, wife? So uh, I get asked that, and uh, that's not what I think about when I wake up in the morning. I've got a job to do. I, I'm I'm a mom. Uh, you know, I I um, I've I've been certified to teach yoga. Uh, I give public speaking engagements on women and self-esteem. For for me, that's the focus. If Canadians bring us there, I will be ready. You heard it here for Sophie Grégoire Trudeau, ready for any and all new experiences <laughs> and challenges and, you know, maybe a, That's life. maybe a long, long life in Ottawa. All right, thank you so much for joining us. Continue thank success. You. Congratulations. Stay tuned, you guys. Lots more to come. You're watching mm -hmm. Breakfast Television only on City. Nice one. <laughs>